Ashlyn Coogan. I'm a teacher in St. Thomas Junior National School and at the moment I have second class room five. Hello room five. I miss you all and I'm looking forward to seeing you again when all this is over. Uh, but until then, stay home, stay safe, stay well. So I wanted to remind you about learning to tell the time. How to tell the time on a clock like this, which is an analog clock. It's got a round face and it's got all the numbers going along the outside from 1 to 12. And it's got two hands in the middle, one long one, one short one. And the short one, the pink one, is the hour hand. So I'm just going to write hour here in red, because that's a bit like pink. And the long hand is the minute hand. So I'm going to write that here in blue. Minute. The blue hand is the minute hand. You see that? And the red or the pink hand is the hour hand. Okay, so what we learned about before was that when the minute hand, the blue hand, is pointing to the 12, that means it's o'clock. It's something o'clock. Now the short hand is pointing to the two, so that means it's two o'clock. Two is the hour, and then the minutes are o'clock if it's pointing to the twelve. Now, if that blue hand moved halfway around the clock, so it's pointing to the six, then it's gone halfway around the clock. You see, it's gone all the way from twelve all the way down here, all the way to the six. That's gone halfway around the clock and that's called half past the hour. And in this case, it's half past two. And actually, that shorthand will have moved just between the two and the three. So we can say it's half past two. Now, another thing we can learn about is when the minute hand is pointing to the three. So it's gone from the 12 to the 3. That's a quarter way around the clock. A quarter way. So a quarter way means quarter past. It's a quarter past the hour. So the minutes are a quarter past and the hour hand is still pointing at the 2. So that means it's a quarter past 2. Now what we had just started to learn in second class, just before we left, was what happens when that hand, the big hand, the minute hand, is pointing to the nine. What do we call that now? That is a quarter to the next hour. So it's at the nine and it still has a quarter way to go until it gets up here. There's still a quarter way to go until it gets up here. That's called a quarter two. And this short little hand here we'll be heading towards the three. So we can say it's a quarter to three. It's heading towards the three. Quarter to three.